Hey friends, today we're testing Omslo with a circuit simulation and a hands-on kit build from Timo. Let's get started. First, measure the resistance of the resistors. 47 kilo ohms. 470 ohms. 1 kilo ohms. 22 kilo ohms. 10 kilo ohms. 4.7 kilo ohms. 2.2 kilo ohms 330 ohms Now, bend the resistor's lead to the correct end The red LED has a forward voltage of about 1.8 volts to 2.2 volts, typically around 2.0 volts at 10 to 20 milliampere. Now place the resistors in their correct locations on the board. Next, place the LEDs. The longer lead is the anode. Next, place the DC jack. Lastly, place the socket for the switch. Heat the soldering iron to 350 degrees centigrade. Then solder all the component leads using just the right amount of solder. Good solder is achieved by clean surfaces, proper temperature, right solder, flat, correct technique, and shiny smooth joint. Now, cut all the excess component leads using a side cutter, making sure not to damage the PCB. Ensure all solder joints are smooth, shiny, and well connected. Install the mounting posts and screws on the PCB. This is an Ohm's Law and Power Wheel Chart, a handy reference tool. Ohm's Law is the foundation of electronics and electrical circuits. It relates voltage, current, and resistance. In this simulation, two resistors are used with different values. This shows that when voltage is kept constant, a higher resistance results in a lower current. In 
this circuit simulation, I added LEDs just like in the kit. You will see that increasing the resistance reduces the LED current. While higher resistance also causes a higher voltage drop. Now, connect a 5 volts power supply to the circuit. Then turn on the switches one by one. Now, observe the brightness of each LED. The LED brightness decreases as the resistance increases. As expected, the LEDs with lower resistance are brighter, while the ones with higher resistance are dimmer. Now, let's measure the voltage drop across each resistor. Observe the voltage drop across each resistor. The higher the resistance, the higher the voltage drop. Now, let's measure the DC current flowing in each LED. Current decreases as resistance increases. The readings are exactly the same as in the simulation. This is Ohm's law in real life. So today we saw how Ohm's law works first in a simulation and then we built a real world circuit that behaved the same way. Understanding Ohm's law is the key for anyone learning electronics tells us how voltage, current, and resistance are always related. If you want more videos like this, like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.